guys, <clears throat> this is going to be a mid-month reading for the 15th through the 31st. This is for Taurus, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and Jupiter signs. Taurus. Of course, this is a general reading, you guys, so it's not going to resonate for everyone. But if you need a personal reading, show up, okay? Go to the website. Or if that does not work for you, if it's hard for you to, to get there, um, then go ahead and email me. But the website has you know, different selections on it. All right. Merry Christmas. Happy New Year to those of you who do celebrate the holidays. Hope you're getting all your shopping out of the way. It's rainy here where I am. It's, it's very ugly. But I haven't done any shopping anyway. I need to get on it. All right, guys. So here we go. This is love and advice, okay? Or love and guidance. So whatever comes up, it is what it is, okay? One more shuffle. Taurus. Overall energy. Somebody's feeling um, very regretful here. Missing somebody. Longing for somebody, I feel. Almost to the point where you're making yourself sick. Somebody here. Hmm. Yeah. Eight of Swords, that's you. Judgment is challenging you. Hmm. Whew. In the past, Six of Swords. In your foundation, we have Justice. Ooh. Okay. Crowning you, we have the Five of Pentacles. Wow. In the near future, we have the Wheel of Fortune. How you see yourself as a star. In the environment, we have the King of Pentacles. Your hopes and fears, we have the King of Wands. Wow. Okay. And in the possible outcome, we have the moon. I do feel like a lot of you are, um, you're longing for somebody. You're longing for somebody, you're very hurt. Um, you're missing them. And you think about them constantly here in the Eight of Swords. You think about the times that you guys shared together. You think about the breakup. You think about the things that, that were said. Now, what's challenging you, and I feel this really strongly, and a lot of people are not going to want to hear this, but for whoever this really hits home for, That Eight of Swords is going to go away eventually, but if you don't decide that either you're going to move on from this person or go towards this person, and I'm feeling more of going towards this person and making things right, deciding to give this another chance. I'm not telling you to give this person another chance, but this is what I'm feeling for those of you who this strongly resonates for, okay? Because that five of cups is a missed opportunity. You're feeling that. You're feeling that. The only way that that Eight of Swords, not the only way, the quickest way for that Eight of Swords to go away is to go and not, you don't have to reconcile with that person like get back into a relationship with them, but you have to make things right. Whether it's apologizing for things that you've said that you probably feel like, you know, we're not... 
um, nice things or what have you, whatever your part was, I feel like um, an apology is probably is what's needed to make this eight of swords go away quickly. Okay. Now this could go vice versa. You are the other person. Okay. Now I'm going to jump around because this is important too. If there was something that happened that you feel responsible for, this is your opportunity to make it right. And I feel like you do because this is in your foundation justice. This is balancing the scales of karma. Okay? Because guess what? In the near future, karma's being spun out. So whatever you've done, whether good or bad, is coming back towards you with the will of fortune here. All right. Now I realize that in the past that you know there was something very tumultuous that you, you moved away from. You know the re relationship may have been very rocky. Um, there may have been the the foundation probably was shaky. You know you guys didn't really communicate well or what have you. And I realize that you probably had to remove yourself from it, but. I think this is a need for you to kind of look at how you removed yourself from it at this point, okay? Because somebody's left here feeling left out in the cold, and I feel like this is you. I feel like this is you, okay? And I feel like also that that is how you feel now that you know that you're just out there. You don't have the person that, you know, really loved you at one point and possibly still does. But this is also how you feel like the other person feels. This is what you did or this is what they did to you, you know. It's bothering you, it's weighing heavily on you. I get the feeling that you feel as though this person is your destiny. I don't think you've always felt like this, though. I think this idea has come in your head because the other person put this out there for you before. And you possibly did not. You probably brushed it off. Or they brushed it off. And I keep saying they, I'm talking to you. whoever's listening to this video, whether it's a cross watcher or whether it's actually Taurus that I'm talking to. The energy can go vice versa, but I say you because I'm talking to you. But know that what I'm saying can go either way, okay? The other person probably mentioned that, you know, you guys were soulmates or you guys were meant to be together and, and, you know, the other person just thought, oh, you know, I don't believe in that or, you know, just kind of brush it off or whatever. But now somebody is realizing that, um, that all of this is true. All those stars in the sky, um, this person is sitting right up there and that's how they see them, that they are the one. This is also healing. Healing. This is loving energy. I'm, I'm feeling it. I'm feeling it. Okay. In the environment, we have the King of Pentacles. This is a family man. Or woman. Okay. I say man because, you know, just the, the court card here on the, on the card. But this could be a woman. Um, this is somebody that is, um, they're in it to win it. They're in it to win it. Okay. Hmm. And I, I just feel like, you know, your hope. is to have the king of wands, to have this person um, that's in control of themselves. You see this person as very fiery in nature. You see them as very attractive because the king of pentacles is you. Now, 
you could be in a same sex relationship, possibly. Doesn't have to be though, okay? But this person is very attracted to you. You feel like this person um, is confident, they're sexy, um, they're alluring, you know. And I think you, you probably did not see them like this before. Your hope is to have this person back. Feelings will be revealed here, possibly, because this is a possible outcome. Things will no longer be hidden. Okay. So Taurus, I say to you to do what it is that you feel is right and just to do. Do what you feel in your heart that you want to do. King of Swords is not here. So I don't feel like there's anything here that suggests that um, you're closed off or you won't move. You won't go towards this person or them you. I don't see anything um, indicative of that. Okay. So I wish you guys all the best. Um, going into the new year and I will speak with you soon.